I'm off the grid for August, but CNN is still a propaganda network. About the dystopian myths of red America, basically describing how, let's take the average Fox News viewer, uh, is, is t what they're told about blue states and about big cities. What are those dystopian yeah. myths? What do people need to know about that? Well, first of all, there's the specific issue of the whole Black Lives Matter uh, demonstrations, which a large part of the country, certainly a lot of the mail I get, people think that you know, lots of Manhattan was burned to the ground. They think that this was an enormously destructive thing when, in fact, yes, there was some arson and looting, but actually really not very much in, in a country the size of the United States and for demonstrations that size. So they think and that, can I just can know, I clarify, that, Paul? That's because whenever we're talking about the January 6 hearings, the likes of Sean Hannity always say, well, why aren't you investigating the summer of 2020 riots? That's what they say basically every that's day. Right. Yeah, and you're, and you're you're in Manhattan, right? I mean, you you know that there 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 is not a burned out shell. It just this just never happened. But they're told. No, that I mean, it did. My, look, my, there were windows shattered in my building, and it was awful. And we cleaned it up the next day, and that's what people do. So yeah. I digress. Go ahead. Yeah, and the other is about crime. Now we have in fact had a, a significant surge in murders since the pandemic, uh, probably because you know social isolation and all of that, which has been nationwide. And as broad, it's it's about as much increase in rural areas and small towns as it is in big cities. Um, but the idea, and it, it varies a lot among cities, but New York, of course, is everybody's favorite. And a lot of the country thinks that New York is an extremely dangerous place, uh, which it once was. A lot of people think that it, that New York now is New York of 1975 with, uh, with large uh, no-go areas and high murder rates, when in fact it's one of the safest places in America, even, even after this rise in crime. It's still uh, way, way less crime than there was uh, in, in 1990. So that's another area where media coverage matters so much. Paul, thank you very much for coming on. Good talking with you.